In this video, I'm going to share all about Matthew C. Everything I know about it, our opinions on it, and how we're liking it so far. So if you're interested in knowing more about Matthew C, a math program from kindergarten all the way up to grade 12, stick around. So we started using Matthew C about this past spring, I believe it was around the end of May, and we started using it because I had found out that the curriculum that we were using didn't have any other grades released at the time. I kind of was disappointed because we loved what we were using, but we decided to try out Matthew C because friends of ours um, in our co-op were both, two families, were both using Matthew C and they really spoke highly of it, so we decided to give it a try. Now, I just wanna kind of quickly go over what Matthew C is all about, in case you have never heard of Matthew C. But Matthew C has been out actually for quite a long time. I believe probably upwards of 20 to 30 years. A um, Couple of generations of homeschoolers have gone through successfully um, using Matthew C all the way up to high school, grade 12, and have gone on successfully to college and university with their background using Matthew C. So what I love about it is that it is a tried and tested curriculum that is definitely, it definitely works. It definitely takes you to the highest levels of university and it's successful in that way. And so that's what we really want to know as homeschooling parents. Will this curriculum work for us all the way up? And will they be able to successfully understand and know, use the math concepts in their future um, educational careers and onwards um, to give them the right foundation? So it's been around for a long time and how it works is it is an entirely, it's a uniquely mastery approach. The levels aren't done by grades the way most curriculum are where you have grade one and you're learning all the things that someone should learn in grade one to grade two and so forth. They are written in different levels and each level masters a different math concept from the very beginnings of that concept all the way up to the most complicated uh, approach to understanding that concept to the highest level of understanding that concept to the end. And once you understand one concept, you then move on to the next level, teaching another concept. So it sounds like it would be a very long time spent in one math concept, but they really learn to understand that concept inside out it truly becomes mastered. Whereas other math curriculums that we have used, and I have tried several of them, the mastery of those concepts do not stick. At some point, they forget them. Uh, when they move on to other topics and go back and review, sometimes it's forgotten. And they don't fully always understand every concept inside out. Now it's not to say that no other math curriculum works, but that is this one's approach to fully master each concept. So let me tell you some of the concepts and levels that they teach them at. So they do have a primer and that's just an intro to mathematics. So number sense, shapes, things like that, counting. They don't include that in their actual math the rest of the math curriculum, they call that a primer, and you might do that in kindergarten. Um, their alpha course teaches single digit addition and subtraction. And my daughter is doing that now, and how it works, they begin with addition, and they will first teach you the zero plus addition table, zero to 10, or zero to nine, their numbers go to nine. Um, and then, um, so then they'll, then they'll teach the one plus, then they'll teach the two plus and three plus. After three, they actually go to nine and then eight. And there's an interesting methodology behind how he teaches it. He has a very um, different approach, but it really makes sense. His approach to teaching and understanding how the numbers work. For example, eight plus two, or let's go with nine. Nine's a little easier. Nine plus one. Well, nine wants to become a 10. So if you make it a 10 and take the plus one, what is that number? It's 10 
plus nothing left, it's 10. Nine plus two, nine wants to become a 10. So it's gonna suck up half of that two, it becomes a 10. And there's a one left over, 10 plus one, because 10 plus any number is easier for a student to understand. You know, 10 plus one is 11, 10 plus two, you know, so they, it's easier. So he does the same thing with eight. Eight wants to become a 10. So it sucks up two numbers from the other number. And then you're just left with 10 plus another number. It's quite interesting, but he does this with all the math concepts all along down the line. He teaches the concepts in a way that is easy for anyone to understand and that way you can take that concept and go deeper and deeper and more complex with it because you understand that basic concept in a very um, discreet and incremental way so alpha is single digit addition and subtraction beta is multiple digits addition and subtraction gamma is single and multiple digit multiplication Delta is single and multiple digit division. And then epsilon, the entire year is spent on fractions. So my other daughter is doing epsilon right now. She's nearly halfway done. And it really takes her to some complex ideas about um, fractions. And she has had no struggles with it because it is done so incrementally. She just fluently understands fractions. Um, how to add, subtract, multiply, divide, all the things with fractions. Zeta is the next, um, the next level and they teach decimals and percentages. And then it gets into pre-algebra and then algebra one, geometry, algebra two, pre-calculus and calculus. And then you have finished all the math up to grade 12 and are ready for university. So that is how it works. The lessons are very plain and simple. It's just black and white. This, sorry, this is the workbook. There's no fuss. Um, lessons are two pages. Each day is only two pages that they're completing. Um, and so how, how it's laid out is, so this would be a lesson in Matthew C. You will watch Mr. Demi, who's the curriculum writer. He teaches a five to seven minute long video about teaching that one concept for that week. Um, then you have a teacher's guide so that if they don't quite fully understand Mr. Demi, you can break it down and teach it to them again yourself. If you don't want to watch the video, you can just use the teacher's guide and teach out the concepts. But we really enjoy the videos and I like that independence that my children get and I sit along beside with them so that I can also pop in and listen to how he's teaching the concept so that when they have questions I can answer it because even though I understand how to do the math I don't necessarily know how Mr. Demi is teaching it because he has a very unique way of teaching the concepts. So then they would go through um, in a week there are lessons A to F. A, B and C are lessons specifically on this new concept and then D, E and F are reviewing that new concept as well as reviewing past material and they call that a systematic review. So on the first page of the, of the and it's a two page assignment, the first page of assignment would be more review of that current lesson and the second page would be all review of previous lessons and previous years as well. So not just previous lessons, but previous years of checking that they still remember long division and long multiplication and word problems and things like that. So there is always that review and people are concerned, well, if it's just mastery, do you ever spiral back and go back and review? And they do, and they do it enough so that you are certain that they are not forgetting certain concepts. The website also has extra pages so that if you feel that you want to give them more practice problems, you can print out as many practice problems as you want. You just click in how many pages you want. You want 10 questions, you want three pages, and you can select how many questions you want for review and give it to them. And then they have test booklets and they have the answer key as well for you to go and check their work. Or if your students are older and you want them to check their own work, they can do that. I hadn't been doing any tests for my first daughter in Alpha, but now she's ready to start being tested. Her confidence has built and we can now do some testing just to kind of 
give them feedback as well as us. And we do like testing in our family. You may not want to do testing, but if you don't like to do testing, it's not a pre—it's pre not a prerequisite. You don't have to do that as part of Matthew C. But I do love how simple and straightforward um, the work pages are. You, you know, kids don't need a lot of fluff and it doesn't also have to take them a long time to finish each lesson. So now let's talk about how is it working for us? Well, it's going really, really well. Um, my kids are thriving and doing well in math. There are no math tears. There is no frustration. They're getting their math done. Um, you know, occasionally we have little corrections to make. They're correcting them and they're understanding it by the time we get to the end of the week and doing a systematic review and then the end test for that lesson. They're getting it. They're feeling confident. They're knowing they're ready to move forward to the next lesson. What I also love about it is that you can move at your own pace. If they want to get through the whole level, the whole that whole course, uh, faster than a year, they can. If they want to slow down, they can. It's not grade-based, so they don't have to say, I'm still doing grade one math. They don't have that kind of embarrassment of saying, you know, this is, I'm in level two, or they're in alpha, beta, gamma, delta, and they can move through it at any pace they want if they want to finish it up faster and get all the way up to calculus at a much faster rate. I have a friend who does want her kids to get to calculus a little bit sooner to get that under their belt before they even get to high school. And that's fine. So if you have different goals, you can move through this course as quickly or as slowly as you want. And it is going really well for us. They are understanding it. They do use some manipulatives for this course. So um, there are number blocks and uh, fraction um, sort of, I don't have them here. I actually didn't use the fraction manipulatives because when we started the course, we were at the point where she's already sort of, she understood that portion of fractions and didn't need the manipulatives to help her understand what three fourths meant and things like that. He uses them in the video, but I find she does well without them. Now I most likely will get those manipulatives when my daughter, my youngest daughter gets to Epsilon. Um, but for now we do use the, ma the manipulatives for her in Alpha where they're just number blocks and they'll line up the number blocks to show. But what they want you to do is to memorize the math facts. So to not just know, they don't want you to say count what four plus four means. Of course, any kid could just go count all the blocks and say four plus four is eight. They want you to recognize when you see four and four together that you automatically, your brain automatically recalls that four plus four is eight. So we also go through flashcards and help them uh, memorize their math facts. And that's very important as a foundation to the program. But we go through that at our own pace as well. Now, the only, I would say downside, and it's not a downside because it's very easily remedied, is that I do find Matthew C in comparison to Singapore math, which we did primary mathematics for grades one up until grade four, um, it is a little bit on the more basic side. Singapore math, primary mathematics did have some more complex word problems and more challenging math problems that probably was more challenging than it needed to be, to be honest. Matthew C is teaching everything that they need to know from the beginning of the concept to the most challenging end of the concept, everything that they need to know to use in the future for it to solve any kind of math problem there is. So you don't necessarily have to give your child a super challenging problem to know that they understand the concepts, but I would say that Matthew C's concepts are, or questions, are a little bit on the less challenging side. So what we do to remedy that is I have a Beast Academy um, problem uh, solving books, and I've shown them in another video, but we I'll put their little picture here to show you what they look like. And we use that just to give a little bit more of a challenge, some more abstract thinking and thinking outside of the box to help them kind of think beyond just the basic math questions. And that is an easy way to add to your math. Um, and we don't do it every day of the week. We do it about once a week where we give them a bit more of a challenging outside of the box thinking kind of math uh, questions and word problems 
And math games, those are all ways to kind of increase the challenge to the math for your students. I'm trying to think if there's anything else that I would like to say about math you see. But again, you know, the fact that so Mr. Demi teaches in this very unique way. It's very different from all the other math curriculum ways of teaching concepts that I've ever encountered so far. And once you master that approach to teaching a concept, it's really nice that you can stay in that style of teaching and that way of teaching and um, of, of teaching how to understand a concept all the way up into grade 12 that you don't have to leave it and jump around and get used to another style because moving from curriculum to curriculum, if you've ever done that, can be quite challenging. And every math curriculum teaches math a little bit differently. And it can be very frustrating having to figure out the, the, the format and just the way that they're teaching things. Um, one thing I would say is that in Matthew C, um, he teaches the concepts in a particular way. And I find it a very simple way. It's simplified. He teaches it in basic terms that really anyone could understand. And he does it pictorially and with, and with uh, manipulatives and then explains it in words and all those things. But if you find that his method of teaching isn't working for you, then Matthew C probably won't be a good fit for you. Um, other curriculum, I believe uh, Math and Confidence and Primary Mathematics and I believe maybe even Beast Academy, they will teach multiple approaches to solving a problem, and then you can choose which one works best for you. Whereas in Matthew C, it's primarily one way that he teaches it, but a very simplified and basic way that I would say that most children should understand, and then goes uses that form of teaching, that style of understanding, all the way up through to grade 12. So if it works for you, it's amazing. You can stick with the one curriculum all the way through. And my kids are really enjoying it. There's no fuss, no tears, no fighting over getting their math done. In fact, they often ask to do more lessons in a day. And that is that happens quite often where they want to just go through it faster and ask, can we do more lessons? And I'm like, absolutely. Do as many lessons as you like. But that's all I have for you. If you have any other questions about Matthew C or math in general, please comment below. I'd be happy to answer whatever questions I may be able to answer. But I thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.